Some of the latest developments in drone technology are pretty innovative, and some are completely bizarre. Nevertheless, drone technology is constantly evolving, and it's pretty exciting to see the latest developments. So let's take a look at some of the most amazing drones out there. Beginning at number 7, the Samara Auto Rotating Wings. The saw is something you don't want to mess with. It's basically a hub which can separate into smaller pieces. Each wing can descend into a particular destination because of their built-in actuators which changes the pitch of the blade. The smaller wings cannot maintain flight for now, but there are a couple of one-wing drones out there which can fly, making this one very interesting idea which could be developed more. Imagine a collective drone which could break into pieces, go through obstacles, and then attach itself again. Ultimately, this could be just the beginning for self-assembling drones, and that is pretty cool. We get to number 6 and that's the Morphing Quadcopter. There have been some pretty impressive modular drones out there which can get through obstacles, but this Morphing Spring Control Quadcopter is impressive and it's pretty fast. The drone can shrink itself by 50% in less than half a second, and this is because it has springs which are in constant tension, so they can change the arms in rapid session. But the drone is not really autonomous or anything like that, so it's nothing spectacular. And these obstacles were set up to coincide with the quadcopter's trajectory. Anyways, that is still one big step for drone, and one giant leap for drone kind. We get to number 5 and it's an artificial hummingbird. Whale hummingbirds are some of the most impressive flyers on earth. Their sheer wing speed is very difficult to reproduce artificially. So the Biorobotics Lab took this challenge and made one impressive flying robot. Even though it's tethered for power and control, it's still impressive to see each wing change in direction more than 30 times a second. And it can do this because it has decoupled wings, which allow the robot to imitate the same flapping dynamics that real hummingbirds have. Another cool thing is that the direct drives, which control the wings, can also be used as sensors. So if it gets close to an obstacle or the ground, and the ground effect starts to induce lift, it can adjust accordingly to that variable, without any user input. Ultimately, this is a pretty impressive development, but I actually think there is something more impressive than this drone, which I will get to in a little bit. We get to number 4, and it's something a little bit different, and it's the Ion Aircraft. So although this may not seem much, this craft is still pretty impressive for having no moving parts. It works by using a pair of wires, one behind the other, carrying electric current. The wire in front carries over 400,000 volts, thus turning electrons into ions. These ions are then accelerated through the electric field, and thrust is produced. But since we are covering ion crafts, you should check out Ethan's self-contained ion-powered aircraft. And this one's really neat, because it has an onboard power supply, and it's the first ionic craft to actually be able to do this. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find this really amazing. And it just kind of makes me question why bigger companies are not working on this type of technology. But maybe we'll save that topic for another video. Now we get to something really interesting, and it's the magma. You may have heard me talk about this particular drone before. And it relies less on mechanical systems and results in a lighter, more efficient aircraft. This is thanks to its fluidic thrust vectoring. And this basically works by using additional air in the exhaust nozzle to direct the main engine thrust. The magma can already roll and pitch with this prototype design. And it could one day eliminate rudders and flaps in certain applications. Once again, let's hope that this project keeps moving forward with more demonstrators because it's actually one of the more impressive things out there. Now we reach number 2, and it's the Adifo. One of the most impressive drones looks like a bit of a flying saucer. And even though it has no anti-gravity properties, it's still an intriguing prototype. So the Adifo flies like a quadcopter at low speeds, but it also has jet engines for high speed flight. And the ultimate goal is to build a manned craft, which can be supersonic, but also be extremely agile. There's also even the claim that this may not even create a sonic boom because of its airframe design. But regardless, to develop this program further would likely be very expensive. Nevertheless, the all-directional flying object could be a glimpse of the future, and this is definitely an aircraft to follow. We get to the great number one, and it's the Delphi Nimble. This is kind of like an improvement of Caltech's Bat Drone, which was released a few years back. The Nimble can flap its wings up to 17 times per second, and it can fly up to 16 miles per hour. So right away I noticed that this thing is really agile. It's not going to beat a racing quadcopter or anything like that, but considering how it's actually flying, it's a pretty impressive drone. 
but most importantly, it can actually fly for around 5 minutes on self-sustained power. So I really like this project because the drone will be further developed and financed by the Dutch Science Foundation NWO. So we're going to be seeing more improvements. Nevertheless, and this is my opinion, I think this is one of the most impressive developments in the drone world. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.